Tier 2 link building is one of the most commonly debated practices when it comes to SEO. There is no doubt that building tiered links can add value to your website if you do it correctly. For those who don't know exactly what tier link building is, well, let's look at a typical link building process first. So when you go out and build backlinks to your website, what you'd have is your website at the top, and then below your website, you'd have all these different websites linking back to your site. A tier two backlink would be a backlink which links to your backlinks. That might be a little bit hard to comprehend uh, at first, but essentially it is a backlink to your backlink which links back to your website. Hopefully that made sense. Um, if it didn't make sense, and of course I hope this image uh, makes it a little bit more clearer. But essentially in 2016, with the launch of Google Penguin, the Penguin algorithm, Google made some drastic changes as to how they calculated the link algorithm. Instead of links being calculated on a domain level basis, Penguin now meant that links were calculated on the power of individual pages that were linking to your website. This sparked up an argument for tiered link building as you could essentially have links of lower authority sites and still make them very valuable by building links to the links pointing to your website. Tiered link building is something that I've been doing personally for the last few years and it works really, really well if you know what you are doing. So let's start off with the main basics. What links do you build tier two links to? As that is a question that a lot of people have. Okay, I understand that tiered link building is great, but how do I know what pages I should be building links to? Well, the answer is tier two links are best built to pages that have a low page authority, but a high domain authority. I typically wouldn't build any two tier links on pages that are lower than a Moz domain authority of 25. The reason being is that you typically get more value from your tier two links when they're linking to pages that already have some decent authority on them. Essentially, the higher the authority your link is, the more value you're going to get out of your tier two links. Another question I get asked quite often when it comes to tier two link building is what type of link should you use for your tier twos? Well, the answer is pretty straightforward. You basically want to use the same link types that you would use at your tier one level. So that would be your guest posts and it'd be your niche edits. However, as these are links at your tier two level, you can be a little bit more relaxed in terms of the quality of both of these type of links. However, I don't mean go out there and get any random link from any non-relevant and related website and then build that to your tier one. What you want to do is make sure there is at least some level of quality in these links. And essentially the way to test that is ask yourself, would you be proud enough to show this backlink to one of your clients? If the answer is no, then probably you shouldn't be building them as a tier two link. And what I mean by that is not the quality and the authority of the actual website you are getting a link from, but more of the content quality you actually have on your tier two link. For example, if you are using maybe domain authority 35 and above for your tier ones, then on your tier twos, you could use domain authority 25 or 26. So something that's a little less authoritative, but still has some decent quality behind it. Now, another question I get asked quite a lot as well is how many tier two links should I build? And the simple answer is one to three per page. If you remember the screenshot I just showed you, I actually used two tier two backlinks per backlink. Ignore the fact it says low quality backlink right here. The main essence I'm trying to get across is that you should use one to three tier two backlinks to the backlinks you want to power up. Now, of course, this is a rule of thumb. You can go out there and build a little bit less and build a little bit more if you wish. However, I wouldn't get too carried away with it as what you have to remember is that over time, your backlinks are going to acquire backlinks anyway. So if you go out there and build 100 tier two backlinks, then that's going to be extremely unnatural. And when it comes to doing anything with SEO, what we want to do is look as natural as possible and fit in with the crowd. As of course, as soon as we start to look like we are doing SEO, then guess what? Google is going to be aware of that and they're gonna make it harder for us to rank in Google, which is the whole reason why Google doesn't really like SEOs. As of course, people who know and understand SEO, they can get their website onto the first page of Google organically, meaning they don't have have to give Google any money paying for Google ads. The final question which I get asked quite often as well is does your tier two anchor text matter? Well the answer is no. Google does not currently track relevance further than what is linking directly to your website aka your tier one. 
So if you go out there and build all your tier one backlinks, which of course would have relevant anchor text to your website, you don't have to follow that through at your tier two level. The reason being is because relevancy doesn't actually matter when you go past the first level. However, I'm not saying you should go out there and have any random really anchor text. For example, let's imagine your website is about health and fitness. You would of course have all of your tier one backlinks linking to your website, referencing what your site is about, which is health and fitness. So that would most likely be some of the anchor text you are using on your tier one backlinks. Now at your tier two level, you don't wanna go and say something completely irrelevant, such as maybe dogs or horses that has no relation to what your website is about. However, it's not gonna have that much of an impact if you did go ahead and do that. However, my bit of advice is what I recommend is you go ahead and make them as relevant as possible as long as your tier two anchor is somewhat at least related to your main site, then that's going to have a little bit of benefit for you in the long term if Google update the algorithm further to make sure that tier two backlinks actually matter on an anchor text relevancy level. So that is essentially how the strategy works. It works really, really well to give those stubborn pages a boost up in Google. I really recommend you review your backlink profile by using any SEO tool. Find out what backlinks you have that have a low page authority and a high domain authority. Of course, you can use Moz DA Chrome extension checker for that as showcased earlier on in the course. And then all you want to do is go out there and build one to three tier two backlinks to those backlinks to power them up and then get that link juice powered through to your actual website. I'll see you in the next one.